Tech Chemistry. Today we are here to discuss lecture number 14, part 1 of inorganic electronic spectroscopy. So the lecture is about constructing pigeon hole diagram for D2 system. As you are familiar with the word pigeon hole diagram as we have already discussed it in lecture 13 part 1 and part 2. In the pigeon hole diagram there are two ml value the smaller one that representing the orientation of you can say orbitals under magnetic field and the second one the horizontal one represent the ml value or you can say the total orbital angular momentum number now you also familiar with the fact that actually in pigeon hole diagram we have two types of term that are ground state as well as excited state term symbol here we will be taking an example of a vanadium okay you know the electronic configuration of vanadium is shown over here well when vanadium lose its 4 is 2 electron and 1 3d electron then its ionic configuration will be like organ 4 is 0 3d2 so in this case vanadium is n plus 3 states and d2 system titanium ion is also in its plus 2 form when it uh, lose some electrons okay you know that the orbital is actually represented by the azimuthal quantum number mean fl is equal to 0 it's the subshell will be s in the same way the term will be capital s okay and five sub five orbitals are present in the d sub shell that is dxy dyz dxz dx square y square and dz square okay and for l uh, for d f l is equal to 2 the sub shell will be d you can see it over here if uh, this l value is 2 the sub shell will be d and the term will be capital d okay here by the ml value we mean plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 4 minus 2 that when this d sub shell is placed under a magnetic field it is actually oriented into different uh, direction that is plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus uh, 2 now here we are going to construct or build up a pigeon hole diagram how we can place the electrons in different way in the pigeon hole diagram okay as stated earlier that this diagram will contain both ground states and excited states okay for d l is equal to 2 okay under magnetic field this else you can say splatted or you can say oriented into five different uh, orbitals or orientation here this five means that this d orbital have five ml values okay so five possible orientation under a magnetic field and you can also calculate the terms 
if you know the value of L. Okay. Is there are two electrons? So for first electron L1 and for second electron L2. Just put the values over here. L1 is 2 and L2 is also 2. So 2 plus 2 will become 4. In the same way, just calculate it. You will get these terms. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And you, and you know that 4 stands for G. 3 stands for F. 2 stands for D, 1 for P and 0 for S and the ML or L value will be equal to ML1 plus ML2, ML1 for first electron and ML2 for second electron. Okay, we will consider these values or these calculations while deriving term symbol for D2 system. In the, next, in the next slide and you know that uh, ml is equal to resulting a total orbital angular momentum quantum number we know about the spin of electron if electron are parallel it will be plus half and plus half at and if it is paired one will be plus half and the other will be minus half so in this case, the MS value, the total spin value will be called total or uh, resultant spin angular momentum quantum number. Now coming here to construct a pigeon hole diagram, how we place electron first. First place two electrons in the most highest ML value. Okay, you can see it over here. Now, just move the electron, one electron you can say horizontally along the ML value and the second electron above the first one. Okay, keep on moving. Okay, now here we have finished with all possible arrangement with this type of a parallel spin. Now we pair these two electrons. Now again, keep on moving the electrons. Okay, so we have finished with all the possible arrangement with this uh, paired spin of electron. Remember, it is a partial pigeon hole diagram not a complete one because like a, a complete pigeon hole diagram consists of 45 boxes 45 boxes will be for a complete pigeon hole diagram but here we have just constructed a partial pigeon hole diagram so that we could place the electrons in all the possible ways so here we have a number of sets like okay one thing more if you want to calculate this capital ML value so what you will have to do just add these two because these two electrons are n plus 2 and plus 1 okay plus 2 into 1 1 electron plus 1 into 1 the second one so it will give us a plus a 3 similarly if you want to calculate the ml value for this pair of set okay plus 2 it will become plus 2 this will become 0 so it will give you plus 2 the same way you can calculate the ml value for all these uh, sets now we have three sets. Set 1, we have the maximum ML value is 3 and we know if the ML value is 3, the small ML will be plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0 up to minus 3. 
the ms value in this case will be plus 1 how because this electron and this electron having parallel spin plus half plus half it will give us a 1 by putting this 1 and the spin multiplicity formula we will get a triplet state okay so this whole one is a, a triplet one okay, the j value will be equal to 3 plus 1 because uh, ml is equal to 3 or l is equal to 3 and s is equal to 1 okay it will give us three values of j 4 3 2 the term symbol will be triplet f 4 3 2 or you can separate it the second set the second set is where ml is equal to 1 okay plus 1 0 minus 1 the first case is 12 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 in the second case it is a starting from plus 1 up to minus 1 ok the ml value will be plus 1 ms again will be 1 because both the spin of both electrons are similar both are pair you can say parallel spin so plus half plus half will give us 1 and by putting this one in the spin multiplicity formula we will get a triplet spin multiplicity will be triplet so okay j j will be equal to l as we know l is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 as well so it will give us 2 and a 0 so 2 values so we'll have uh, these two terms for uh, f l is equal to 1 third set is a uh, when ml is equal to 4 mean 4 3 plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus a uh, 0 so if l is equal to 4 we will have plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 value okay so this ms is 0 why both electron are a pair plus half minus half will give you a zero total spin value okay by putting this zero in this spin multiplicity formula you will give you will get a singlet okay spin multiplicity will be a singlet one over here it's also denoted over here okay so the j value again will be equal to 4 because m is equal to 4 and s is equal to 0 it will be 4 so term symbol will be singlet g 4 next one is a set 4 okay the ml value is 2 plus so it will be plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and minus, minus uh, 2 so ml value will be plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and ms is equal to 0 because both electron are paired okay so s will be 2, 2 s plus 1 will be 1 the j value will be 2 the term symbol is a uh, singlet d2 the last one is set 4 here you can see ml is equal to 0 if ml is equal to 0 ml will be also will be 0 this one okay so the spin multiplicity here will be 1 and the j value will be 0 so term symbol is, is a singlet s0 you know how many, how many term symbol we have over here so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, total 8 term symbols. So according to Horn rules, the term symbol with the highest spin multiplicity, highest L value and lowest J value 
will be the ground state if the subshell is less than a half filled. So the rest are uh, excited uh, states. So total degeneracy we mean the number of possible ways to arrange uh, these electrons. So here we have 45 possible way of arranging uh, these two electrons. We know that the spin density actually tell, about, tell us about the arrangement of electron possible ways are 40, 40, 45 energy levels but all these energy levels are not allowed excitation of electron are not possible to all these 45 energy levels so we have only three allowed transition in D2 in the rest are forbidden. We have also discussed it in our lecture number second where we have shown you that how many transition are allowed for D2 and how many are forbidden. So here we can say that three energy level give us an allowed transition or three transition are allowed in the rest are forbidden here is the energy of difference of all these uh, term symbols according to Horn's rule triplet f is less than energy than triplet p it is also less than singlet d and singlet d is less energy than a singlet s so the next lecture will be diagonal method for excited term symbols for a T2 system. Thank you. Please subscribe, share and like this channel. Thank you.